This presentation looks at the types of questions addressed by a literature review article. Try to see how many of these questions are addressed in the assigned article. You also will want to keep these questions in mind as you brainstorm and organize your literature review article. Most review articles answer questions about what we know, what we still don't know, and how studies can be improved. Since one of the major functions of a review article is to summarize the literature, they often begin by describing the most recent findings in a particular area. For example, the discovery of a set of genes from Tibetan populations that may be involved in adaptation to living at high altitude. They also describe relationships, such as the interaction between gut microorganisms and the immune system with regards to obesity. Finally, they may describe or even propose a theory to explain a phenomenon. Literature review articles will also focus on gaps in knowledge. Nobel Prize winner Eric Wieshaus continues to explore how genes control how the animal body plan is established. He has now expanded his research to look at the evolution of a specific gene that plays a key role in initiating the body plan in the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster. In new fields, such as the role of microRNAs in the development of nerve cells, Literature reviews discuss what specific hypotheses need further testing, or they may point out contradictory data, or how the data is limited. Inconsistencies can arise due to differences in methods or the model organisms that were used for a particular study. Additionally, review article authors can identify shortcomings of a particular method or study design. For example, Recent work has shown that the environment in which mice are housed can affect the outcome of a study on cancer survival. In one group, mice were housed in standard cages. In another, the mice had access to toys and running wheels and had a higher survival rate. Finally, literature reviews are incorporated into primary literature articles to show how the author's work advances the current knowledge in the field. As you begin reading primary literature articles, you will notice that the introduction and discussion sections contain many literature reviews.